And in this video, we are going to study about uh, permutations with restrictions. And here, uh, with grouped elements, this is the subtitle of it. And uh, grouped elements, some of the elements in the set, let's say here there are five elements, uh, two of them, uh, we are going to group them, they are going to behave together, and how we can solve these kind of questions, it says. So, uh, here, uh, for the permutation with grouped element, the solutions tells generally if you uh, make the groups like uh, if there are n elements and if you divide them into three groups, let's say n1 plus n2 plus n3, n n uh, here if there are three groups, and in these three groups, uh, the arrangement between the three groups also, they are going to be important. So you are going to solve the questions with respect to that one. Okay, let's start with Merak here. It says that how many five letter words can be formed using the uh, letters Merak if A and K together. So uh, I am going to say when A and K together, we have only four letters. Why I have four letters? Because a and K, they are going to be together. So, uh, how many different way you can order four letters if we say it's going to be equal to four factorial. But here I'm going to write times two factorial because that two factorial is order between order between A and K it's going to be because A and K can be written as A K or can be written as K A. So there are four letters because one of them behaves as a group. So two letters behaves as a group. There are four letters and uh, this group permutates inside the group into two factorial different way is going to be. Okay, the next one. Here, this is the roller coaster example. There are uh, Ahmed, uh, Berg, uh, Jamal, and Dennis. Ahmed and Jamal, they are going to sit together. So, uh, Berg and Dennis, there are. So, there are totally, if you remember, totally three factorial different way you can do that one. But if you at that uh, two factorial different way Ahmed and Jamal can sit together that's going to be equal to three factorial times three times two times one it's going to be times two times one is going to be that's equal to six times two that's equal to twelve is going to be if you remember the uh, the first lesson in the first lesson while we are doing the uh, diagrams which we gave this example and there was 12 possible case and now we are using that uh, we are not using that diagram method only we are solving by using the permutation formula by the way I forget to calculate this one 4 factorial times 4 times 3 times uh, 2 times 1 it's going to be that's equal to times 2 times 1 that's equal to this one 4 times 3 times 2 is going to be equal to 24 times 2 is equal to 48 in the exam I said if it is less than 4 factorial uh, 6 factorial you are going to calculate that's why I calculate again ok let's continue with them with this group here if in how many ways can children honor Maxat, Sasha, Dishal, Katalin and Mehmet sit in the row? Mm -hmm. Maxat and Katalin must not sit together. This part is important because there is a negation here. Here the importance is this is not. And we can find only from all difference from all difference when they are not pardon when they sit together all minus when they sit together so from all when you subtract when they sit together it means that you are going to find when they are 
not thing together not sit together together it's continue okay now uh, what is all if there are one here this is one two three four five six uh, six children or uh, yes six children it means that six factorial different way they can sit and without any restriction when they sit together Maxat and Katalin when they sit together Maxat and Katalin these two when they sit together it means that you have one two three four and the fifth one is going to be group five factorial different way they can sit together and two factorial this is the two factorial and that's the uh, order between the uh, Maxat and Katalin which means in uh, Maxat and Katalin sit together two factorial different way if it is line we can say Maxat and Katalin then or Katalin or Maxat so that makes two also and here five factorial is six factorial is going to be equal to six times five times four times three times two times one minus five factorial five factorial is going to be five four one times two factorial one it's going to be so the answer here uh, five times four times five times uh, six is going to be equal to 30 four times it's going to be 12 times 2 which is 24 24 times 3 is equal to 720 minus here this is going to be uh, 105 times 4 20 times 6 it's equal to uh, 20 times 6 120 times 2 it's equal to 240 different way they are going to sit together and in how many different way they are not going to sit together it's going to be equal to 700 minus 720 minus 240 which is equal to which is equal to 480 different way they must not sit together okay in example 38 it says but uh, we don't know that one now here uh, all the question is also written here and that's why we are going to use this text and it's going to be enough for us Murat had five different math books three different biology books and four different physics books yes we, I, we remember this question and in how many different way Murat can arrange his books on a shelf if must be uh, math books must kept together so it means that we are going to do like this math books must kept together uh, here we have math books math books and plus three group of math books group of math books this is going to be uh, one group one group and the rest of them group of math books math books plus they have uh, the rest of them three different biology books and four different physics books means this is one it's going to be so totally we have eight books so eight factorial different way you can arrange these eight books and the seven is uh, biology biology and and physics books physics books it's going to be okay then did we finish the question no why because eight factorial only and the group arrange group and the other book arrangement but as you know that uh, five book can be arranged inside the group five factorial different way so the answer is going to be eight factorial times five factorial different way it's going to be also I can write like this this one here one plus three plus four factorial times five factorial this one group of math books 
group of math books it's going to be and this is number of biology books biology books and this for it's going to be here uh, this for it's going to be physics books it's going to be physics books is going to be and uh, this is the order between the math books order between between math books and the answer again 1 plus 3 plus 4 which is equal to 8 factorial times 5 factorial is going to be yes for the second one biology and physics books must kept together in two different groups when it says one for biology books one for physics books plus five books for math and <clears throat> biology books can be together uh, physics books can be together but math books can be uh, separated between a uh, group of math, uh, physics books and biology books so that makes 7 factorial times here it's going to be uh, the biology books inside the group can be and uh, can be arranged three factorial different way and physics books can be arranged four factorial different way so the answer is going to be seven factorial times three factorial times four factorial it's going to be okay the last one all books on the same subject must kept together which means math books biology books and uh, physics books they are going to uh, kept together and we are going to arrange five factorial different way and uh, the math books three factorial different way the biology books and four factorial different way the physics books three factorial times five factorial times three factorial times four factorial it's going to be if you remember if you remember we calculate this one before and we said like this five factorial times three factorial times four factorial times three factorial is there are three group of books the arrangement between three group of books we solved this question before and the solution the result is same it's going to be okay this is the now uh, last example F five different countries each sent three people to international meeting a photographer wants to photograph all the people in a row such that people from same countries stand together how many different photographs are possible five different countries there each sent three people to the international meeting so it means that uh, we have one plus one plus uh, one plus one plus one five different country so for each country there is one group first group second group third group fourth group and fifth group five factorial different way you can order these groups and inside the group the five countries three people uh, from each country for the first group three factorial different way it's going to be for the second one three factorial for the third one three factorial for the fourth one three factorial and for the fifth one three factorial different way it's going to be so the answer five factorial times three 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 factorial is going to be and this is 6 normally 6 6 6 to the power of 5 times 120 is going to be the answer but in the exam if you have written like this only here you should mention group of first country and group of group of 1 group of 2 group of 3 group of 4th uh, and group of 5th country is going to be